The Head and the Hair is the 11th episode of the first season of 30 Rock. This is directed by Gian Ancuso. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And there are three parts to the narrative, and I will talk about each of them in turn. I really thoroughly enjoyed this episode. The story with Tracy, initially, when I was watching it, I was thinking they could have done more with this. But then we get to the conclusion of Tracy's story and it makes sense that it was weighted the way it was because Tracy realises his autobiography is due tomorrow with the publishers. So he spends the episode trying to write it or put it together and I was thinking we could have got so much more out of that. But then at the end of the episode or the end of his part, he gets to the present day or close to the present day and realises that he went to talk with the publishers and they said they're not interested in his book. So it wasn't due. He misremembered. So now that I can see it wasn't even a thing that was ever going to exist, I can see why they didn't give it too much weight. But as padding, it is fine. Part of the narrative focuses on the corporate bottoms up day, which is where senior people in the company swap places for a day with some of the more junior employees. I love that as a concept. I can't imagine a lot of quality work would get done, but I do love it as a concept. And Jack swaps with Kenneth. Again, I would have liked to have seen a bit more of this, both with Jack and Kenneth, but also other people in the company doing this. I feel like that could have been a full episode in itself. I actually liked the narrative that focuses on Liz, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But I just think they could have done so much more with this concept. But what we got was great, and... Jack is is asking Kenneth about his dreams and basically telling him, is this really all you want to do? Don't you want to climb higher? And Kenneth gives this really great speech and then he talks about his ideas for TV shows and with Jack's help, he pitches one to the network and he pitches one called Gold Case and they run with it. And at the very end of the episode, we get to actually see the pilot for Gold Case and everybody, all of the contestants seem to be identifying the Gold Case Kenneth realises gold is heavy and that's how they're able to identify it. I rather like that a lot and as I've mentioned before I do like it when we get to see either sketches or clips of shows from the network whether they're part of TGS or otherwise so I really enjoyed that as well really good fun and I just I loved Kenneth's spirit I always do and in this episode was really great and Jack was great as well both in terms of supporting Kenneth and also something he said to Liz but we'll get to that in a moment. Liz's story focuses on the titular hat and the hair. These are two NBC guys that Jenna and Liz bumped into in the elevator. And Liz manages to go and find the hair. And she's kind of going to ask him out, but he beats her to it. And he asks her out. It's a character called Grey, played by Peter Herman. And they go out. And Liz realises the party he took her to is a bit too much of a party for her liking and it seems like maybe they're not going to have anything in common or it's not the lifestyle Liz wants and she even asks him what's your game I will be honest while that's Liz just being cautious I feel like it kind of came out of nowhere I didn't really believe that as much as I would have liked to so that bit I didn't love but we quickly move on and things get more positive as they're in a a store and Liz is trying to pay with a hundred dollar bill and both she and Grey say at the same time, no, you're holding up the line. And they realise in that moment, maybe they are like, maybe they do have something in common. And Liz is explaining how she's trying to try new things, such as asking somebody out and going to a party that's way out of her comfort zone. And Grey dares her to call in sick. This is obviously the following morning. <laughs> and she does. She She's on the phone calling in sick (laughs) and Jack (laughs) Jack just comes up behind her and gives her the best look his facial expression is just fantastic and he says to her Lemon you're looking a little under the weather I love that such a simple sentence that actually says so much about how much Jack actually cares for Liz he realizes that this is a situation Liz is not usually in both in terms of faking sickness and also chance at a real relationship and one that isn't Dennis. So I think Jack really had her back there and I thought that that was really, really sweet. Things got a little bit awkward for two reasons and I will say this was a very unpredictable episode and 
In fact, all of it was unpredictable. I didn't see Tracy's story going where it did, nor Kenneth's, and definitely not Liz's. But it was really awkward because she's still all about trying new things and she doesn't sit on people's laps. And Gray says, try, try it. And she does. And it is so awkward, but I'm with her there. I don't find lap sitting to be that appealing. And... She pointed out that she's just waiting for something to happen, waiting for something to go wrong. And then she asks, why do you have a picture of my great aunt Dolly? Turns out that's also a relative of Gray's. They are related, which must suck because actually maybe they could have been a potential match. That being said, maybe not. Either way, it's not where I saw it going and I rather enjoyed it. Just as a whole, everything about this episode worked really well. As I said, yes, I would have liked a little bit more out of the whole corporate bottoms up day story. I think they could have done a lot more with that, but they probably would have needed to take time away from the story with Liz. And I don't think any of that needed to be removed. Maybe they could have used the padding with Tracy, but that wouldn't have given us that much extra time. Basically, I'm just saying I would have liked to have seen more because I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So it's not really a bad thing. All things considered, I thought The Head and the Hair was a brilliant episode. Personal highlights, Jack, when Liz is faking sickness on the phone, Jack talking to Kenneth, Tracy realising they didn't want his book. I enjoyed watching Gold Case. And I guess the moment where Liz saw the picture of her great aunt Dolly as well. All round, it's a really good episode of 30 Rock.